Welcome back. Now that uh, we have uh, installed all the uh, dependencies, we have put the valid file which has the DNS names into the appropriate folder under the Linux, Oracle Linux environment in cloud that is under uh, network admins, we are all set now. So you can now start executing the scripts which is uh, there. These are the scripts over here. Um, this is again this is a downloadable file, so you can download and uh, execute them. Uh, two ways of executing. One is you can directly go into the Python three, so you can execute this. That is uh, one way of doing it. The other way is, of course, um, if you recollect correctly, we already have a Jupyter Notebook installed. So through the VNC Viewer, you can bring up the desktop, the Oracle Linux desktop, and uh, then you can invoke the Jupyter Notebook um, interpreter and run those commands. So let's, um, what we'll do is we will invoke the Jupyter Notebook and uh, see how it works. So uh, it is there, here or here. So double click and uh, gives the VNC server local host and uh, you need to provide the password over here, whichever you had set during the creation. So that password creation of the GUI, that password needs to be provided. So we are already inside the Linux uh, environment. Um, so now you get into the uh, terminal where you can, I mean, you can uh, invoke the Jupyter Notebook. So if you look at the command for that, should be uh, over here, Jupyter Notebook, that's the command. So, yeah, Jupyter Notebook, you have hyphen and hyphen IP equal to zero point. 0, 0.0.0. 0. 0. So that's the command which will bring up uh, the Jupyter Notebook. So there is some socket error. Um, uh, we will uh, do it again. So I have uh, rerun it again. So some uh, command was not properly provided. So now we will go uh, inside and uh, into the Python environment and start executing the, uh, the scripts. So the first one is of course we need to import the uh, cx dot oracle. That's the import we need to do. So this should run properly without any errors. Yeah, it has uh, just like that gone through. And the next one is, um, of course, uh, we need to set the client directory appropriately. Uh, we need to uh, inform the cx.oracle that package that this is the Oracle client directory, the basic client directory where uh, the TNS names dot ora files are present and other for other communication. So you need to initialize that and then uh, start running it. So we will run that. So copy. Then go over here and paste it. And uh, run it. Ah, this is successful as well. The next one is the connection. This is where all we have imported the cx.oracle 
library and then we have pointed out where our TNS names, uh, the, the necessary uh, informations. So uh, for Oracle client that has been provided. The next one is the connection. So you need to provide the admin user ID, the autonomous database password plus the service name which is specified in the TNS name. So connection string which is there in the uh, which is there in the TNS name that needs to be provided. So admin, the cloud password and the connection string. So I have provided uh, the I mean this is for mine you need to use it for whichever is your user ID password you need to provide that. Let me run it. So connection is successful and the next one is uh, we need to uh, have the cursor in place for fetching from the database. So this is comes the uh, programming part of it after all is set up. So copy it in get here and paste it. We are setting the cursor. So run and that is fine and finally we are need to execute uh, the select statement in Python and if you look at it the SH if you recollect earlier the SH is the schema in the autonomous uh, DB and channels or the table so we are just doing a select star we are selecting row by row and then printing it so this is uh, uh, just a small program script so we got to run it and see whether we are able to successfully retrieve the data from the channels table in the SH schema of the Oracle Cloud Autonomous Database and we are using Python as you have aware. So let's run it and we are successful. So we have got all the these data is from the Autonomous Database uh, SH schema in the channels table so we have retrieved the data so we have connected using Python into the database and retrieved the data. So similarly you can always use it to not only retrieve it update delete the data uh, I mean table data as well the raw data as well. So as I said I mean Python particularly in uh, Internet of Things and many other applications uh, Python is being extensively used. So this connection I mean you can even connect it to the Oracle Autonomous Database not just the Autonomous Database. A similar process if you have a dedicated Oracle environment the steps are going to be the same in case if you want to connect from a Linux environment. So I hope you're not, you are now in a position to understand the steps, the uh, having the dependencies installed and then communicating through Python and connecting into the Oracle database whether it is ordinary database or cloud database and uh, um, manipulating or retrieving the database tables uh, data as well. Thank you. Stay tuned.